welcome back to another episode of Ark Traveler. Um, it's a little bit weird flying around with a fire like a Leo, but I can explain the situation. So, when I was doing the uh, video editing a couple of episodes ago, I realized I did a big dumb when I was flying through the uh, redwoods. And I had a, a thigh like on the tree, and I, I feel like I, I flew under it like more than three times. But there was like at least three instances where I like flew really close to it, and it didn't jump. And it's been a few days. I haven't had internet for like a few days, so obviously I can't record anything. Because the weird thing about uh, Ark is it needs an online verification. There's no true LAN servers, if you will. So the internet came back. And I thought. Well, after watching, uh, after editing through that video, I was like, I might go back and see if that Thylo is in the tree still. And it was, and it was a 168. So it wasn't the same um, Thylo that we tamed that was Tree Kitty. So I, I feel like the first 180 was a separate 180 that um, despawned or something, or disappeared, or it might be still in the redwood somewhere. I don't know where it is. But. Uh, that thyla that was above me that I flew under multiple times was a completely different one and it was a male so I just want to tame it it's not like a 180 but um, it's you know a male thyla so I can breed it with tree kitty and I can start making um, or trying to breed a super super thyla that I can take with me uh, on, on future cave runs and I might stack a few mutations on it and stuff like that but that's primarily going to be the objective of today's episode and then maybe go down into one of the caves and um, try and get another artifact just knock this out and I'll be back when he's down and he goes to be sleepy looks so innocent and cute when they're asleep um, but I don't think I have enough eggs to make the kibble for them today because I don't think there's any ducks near my base at the moment. I think they all got killed off. So yeah, I don't yeah I don't have any eggs to be able to um, make the extraordinary kibble. So I'm just gonna use a whole bunch of cooked lamb chops that I have. You know, so I forgot to show the uh, artifact in the last video, so there's the artifact of the pack. And I got a couple more artifact pedestals from a supply drop, but I might have to craft like the last three, because I think there's ten artifacts in total. Oh! Hello! Better than that. 180 male order. <laughs> You're right there, Roach. Hey, no, no, don't eat him, Roach. Don't eat him. Okay, cool. I don't know how you did that, but okay. Um. Well, that means we're gonna have to go get a fish to feed you. Come on, some time for this uh, tree kitty to tan. Um, first of all, I see a trude on, so. That's that problem dealt with. Now, let's see. Is there any big fish nearby? Can I drag you over to my base? Let us see how much taming progress you give. Okay. 
A cool thing about uh, Argentavis is um, with small tames that you can pick up is you can pick them up in their mouth and then he'll actually look at you which makes it super easy to tame tame a knot. 27% oh no right this should be enough for the otter and then I think uh, you? Six. <laughs> Where'd the fish go? Oh my god, that scared me. Excuse me? Okay. Wait, what? This will be enough to tame the one off. Uh, that one. Yep. 268 Otto. You stay there, you hold on to him. And then we just wait for this dialect to tame out, it's almost done. Kinda weird that they like uh, cooked meat. There we go. Uh, don't think we'll really bother with giving you a name because I feel like you're gonna be expendable anyway when we start breeding. Sounds cruel, but let's check how it is. So we're gonna start the uh, the breeding session. I'm gonna sit here for a few hours and see if I can find myself a few good mutations on the beast dialect, and I'll come back when I get something that I think is worth the effort. Of keeping it, yes. So, I got a bit of bad news, guys. I stuffed up. I screwed up. I done goofed. I uh, was trying to breed the silax outside and I put boop and squeak. Uh, enabled mating somehow. And I just completely forgot about it. And I came back and it was about I don't know, 50 otters in here fully grown. And I went in there to clear, with Roach to clear them out and they started hitting Squeak and Squeak died. Squeak's dead. But not much I could do about that. Fortunately, we have to take his, his fish meat or her fish meat and uh, might have to go make some sort of gravestone later. But um yeah. It was all my mistake. I was gonna breed more squeaks while I was breeding Thylax because they were taking a while. And I was just gonna put the babies out outside and I went to check on the Thylax. And then I went to get a supply beacon and I just completely forgot about the otters. And then they took over this house. And I'm sorry, Squeak. You're a loyal otter. You're gone. You will never be forgotten. I feel so bad. <laughs> I feel so bad. What did I do? Alright, we just got a baby thylac popping out. It's got all the cool colours from the mum. Um, it's got a nice green back and a black, green and black tone. Um, it's a male. I haven't gone for uh, too many mutations, so I've only got six so far. It's a couple of melee mutations, a couple of white mutations. Um, I've been really, really, really unlucky with the, the mutations for thylax at the moment, so. Um, I might just breed, well, not breed, I keep this one uh, instead, because I think this is going to be good enough. It's still got decent stats, so uh, it should be alright. It should be enough for at least what we want to use it for. Okay. 
and these guys are pretty strong in caves anyway, so it's not going to be too much of a big deal. Uh, I did uh, manage to breed some otters though. As you can see, my little army has grown. So, um, this was a Squeak's offspring before she died. So, because that was what I was trying to breed in the first place, and that's the reason why she died in the first place, because I stuffed up. But these are all offspring of Squeak, and uh, they have 20 stacks mutations. So, they have decent stats. But this is our squeak number two. This is the direct descendant uh, main squeak that we're going to be using from now on. Um, so hopefully we don't stuff up and get her killed as well. And the rest is going to be the army. The otter army, the squeak army. Now I'm going to take them for a little bit of a walkie around the beach area there in a little bit, but just got to make sure this uh, thylac is looked after and fully grown, and then we'll check it out, and then we'll probably take the otters out and see what damage and destruction they can cause, and uh, maybe try and see if we can build a temporary memorial for Squeak. Because I got a little gravestone here. This is going to be temporary, so I'm going to get some resources and uh, get some materials to build the uh, proper squeak memorial. Huh, another one came out. Oh, it's got the same stats. Um, I'll right. look after both of you and then I'll just have you as a backup file, just in case. But yeah, we'll just wait for these two files to grow and then we'll go out take them out for a walk take the otters out for a walk so here is the two thylers they're fully grown I named one neon and one razor because razor <laughs> but I'm gonna take neon out neon's gonna be my main razor's gonna be my backup they're both uh, the same stats and they both have the same coloring so it's gonna a little bit interesting trying to get confused about remembering which one's which, but hopefully I pick up Neon this time. I've moved a bunch of my dinos that don't lay eggs, because they're either like mammals or something like that, or um, they're males. I moved them all inside, um, well, as much as I can. I kept the two uh, original roaches out to lay, keep laying Argent Davis eggs. But uh, basically everybody else that doesn't lay eggs is inside this uh, cryo fridge right here. So I got a couple of tree kitties, some otter otters in there, and stuff like that. Stuff that I don't want to lose. Take these otters out and give them a little bit of a test run. See what we can, what little chaos and destruction we can uh, cause with the little army here. These guys breed really, really quickly, so I can just make another army if I really wanted to. This is just for memes and stuff like that, so let's go take them out for a spin. Right, here they come. Little otter army, squeak army. Let's go this way. Come on, B. else we can kill. Kill the true dawn. Got them good boys. Come on, you can do it. There you go. Thing is, can they take on a T-Rex or a Bronto? That's the question. Oh, there's an Alpha Raptor. Yeah. 
go, my army of squeaks. Make him suffer. Nice. Took down an Alpha Raptor. Take on. Take on the Rex. Go. Kill him. You can do it. Yeah. Good job, guys. Good job. Killed the Rex. Alright. I know most of you will not make this journey ahead. But we are going to try and see if we can take down the enemy T-Rexes over there in the distance. So let's go boys. Let's go on. I'll help. Come on, buddy Rex. Go team. No! 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 We've sustained some losses. Hold strong. Hold strong, Otter Army. Alright, maybe those Rexes were a bad idea. I think we have to tactically retreat. Alright. Final mission, boys and girls. Whoever survives can go home. And they'll get a special Medal of Honor. Okay, we're killing that Kano. Go. Kill him. Kill guys. Take down this Parasaur. You know it, boys. Get him! Get him! No! Get him! Get him! Get away! Get him! Can't hide from the other squad. Other squad, go! He's running! He's scared! Look at him! He's scared of you guys! Go get him! And that. Is how the Otter Squad was victorious. We got an Alpha Raptor, we got a couple of Rexes, a bunch of other dinos. Still have what? How many surviving squad members? We have, let's see, maybe 10 squad members surviving. And there's a Tech Rex over there. Level 21 female tech rex. Is that the final mission, boys? I think that's the final mission. Go, boys. Go get them. Get them. You did it, boys. You did it. Good job. Proud of you. All right, let's head home. Celebrate. All right. I addressed all of you warriors. Oh, job well done. Look at you. You and your formation, look at you. Look at you, battle-hardened warriors. Proud of you. Yeah, that 
was the might of the Otter Army. That wasn't even the full might of the Otter Army. That was just a scouting squad of Otters. Uh, Squeak's personal guard. The, the Royal Otter Legion. Yeah, if you guys liked the video, hit the like button, subscribe, comment in the comment section. Do you think that should be it for this episode? And then next episode, we'll take me on to the uh, Carnivore Island, the Dead Island uh, cave and get ourselves an artifact devourer. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next episode. Dark Traveler.